skeleton hoard and something to make that colour. A really, really, really light brown. In contrast or? In contrast. Right. Okay. I'll zoom out for a second there. And I'll put the uh, chaos symbol on this guy. So. Actually, pass the card so I can uh, cut a match. Now, I've got you quite zoomed out, so I'll zoom in a bit more. Much give enough for angle for people. That's the quickest way to. Yeah, we don't want it too. I don't want that. Wildwood. I don't want the wildwood. No, I was going to give you the side side or brown. Yeah, that's probably better. Mm. Well, at the end of the day, if it's a bit lighter, you can just add a bit more and darken it, can't you? It's skeleton hold as well, didn't you? Because at the end of the day, he's got bones. Those two. Sorry. I've got you, a dark oak fresh. No, I'm doing this by memory, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was red. Oh, well, failing that, that is that base colour. For it. Mm. Which is more gas bone, but. Down to you, isn't it? I think it's the contrast medium. Yep. Contrast medium technical. And I'll show the boys and girls at home. One of those empty pots of yours. Yeah, I see. Alright, here it is. 
like that. Empty pop. You don't need to. Don't need to. Skeleton hoard. Those meals are going to mix that with some contrast. But I think a skeleton hoard might just do it, you know. Oh, no, I was, no, you know I was, what, I was what, on about the top top part, part of his skin there, on his yeah. back. It's about the same colour as this, I think. It is, it's slightly darker, so I, I think I will contrast uh, mix with the base paint. Mm. And then people can see that obviously it isn't just contrasts you can use. Yeah. You can actually make your own contrast paint using, using the medium. I think they say because this is a uh, Warhammer TV you can make a glaze obviously not the contrast but you can make a glaze with uh, quite a few paints if you do a 7 to 1 ratio with uh, medium then your paint might be a bit more for, for the base but this was going on a layer there's about uh, 7 um, parts medium, the one part layer paint. Right, so heart is going to pop off for us tonight. That's all right, cheers for uh, tuning in tonight. Thank and you. he has put, make sure Kitty gets a good paint job. We will. I'm going to stamp on her. Oh, you upset you she killed your people. Oh, I got my revenge. I think he killed about two, two of your guys, didn't he? he did yeah, quite he well. The plebs. Hmm. Do you want me to get you another paint handle? No, just that one's fine. Well, and use it then. <laughs> Take the guy off, no well. I think he's almost dry as well, so I'll take a picture of him in a bit. <laughs> just put the paint handle away from you. <laughs> Ta da! And you're an improved. Not a long paint handle. He's got quite the interesting face as well because it's got two colours in it for a small area, isn't it? Finally managed uh, to get around to watching Endgame. <laughs> Finally, took you a while. Oh, I, I wasn't able to get get to the cinema, was I? So I forgot what's happened in it now. <laughs> Tears. <laughs> that was sad at the end. Good though. It had to happen, I suppose. Oh, that's it, isn't it? Watch that John Wick 3 as well. Actually, I haven't seen that. Is it good? Yeah. Very so good. It's John Wick. Of course it is, yeah. It's not going to be shit. Keanu Reeves is awesome! No, I just got Godzilla King of the Monsters. I've never that. seen a bad film with Keanu Reeves. Which may have made I've never seen his bad films. 
<laughs> I'm about to say, it does that just mean, oh, I know that, it's bad on you, yeah, I ain't gonna watch that. <laughs> but I've seen quite a few. I even went and saw that cartoony type one he did. The Matrix. <laughs> I forgot what it's called now. When it was, um, it was the actors, but they were made into cartoon form after they filmed it. They filmed the entire thing, then made then made them all into cartoon. And he, and even that was good. But I can't remember what it was called. Or yeah. You got any ideas, Sean? I take it in here any of that conversation. What? For a change, he wasn't earwigging. I know, mate. Oh, yeah. Probably because it wasn't interesting to him. Don't worry. Jesus. Don't talk to me about heroes. Or dirt or men sing like sucks. Don't talk to me about your big, big heroes. Hmm. Hopefully I'll be done on Wednesday to help get the uh, scenery done. Fingers crossed, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, got got to do a video for it as well, haven't we? Because it's only fair considering we're doing a uh, video for the models getting painted, we'll do one for the scenery. Chaos symbol really stands out on him. Oh, doesn't it? Mm. The way the uh, lights shining on him as well it looks like he's already been shaded on the flesh. Looks like you're just giving him white fur. Sometimes you don't even need to paint them. No. You just need good lighting. <laughs> Here, the light's turned off. Speaking of painting, good lighting. You know what I was saying about this uh, iOS list I put together? Mm-hmm. Put it together, realised the only models that are painted in it are uh, the evocators I've just painted up. Oh. Yeah. All, all of the other models are still kind of like plastic grey. Nice. What's that? Tell you work at a gaming shop, you know. Yeah.
wasn't doing that, was I? So, here we have the thinning of the paint. So, I'll zoom in what Matt's doing there. So that was a splodge of the contrast medium. Mm -hmm. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pot. If I can find it, there we go, found it. If you can see it. So, yeah. where it's got the ridge in the bottom, it just covers the bottom. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to add... See that first, that's me... A random amount of this. Here we go. Maybe a dollop, a small dollop. So we sneeze, just goes all over the models you just painted. Two dollops. Now, when doing this, make sure you do one very important thing. Close the lid. Yes, and make sure it's on properly. Because the last thing you want to do is half close it and then uh, and shake it. Yeah. <laughs> this go. Next thing, make a paint grenade. See that? Boomp. As you can still see, that's still taking a long time to drip off that lid. So, oh, you had a bit of red to it. Mm. So, uh, wow, almost perfect. So, the colour we are trying to get is the top part of the colour on his spine that uh, just goes down a bit and that's the colour Matt, Matt's going for so I'll go with that yeah, yeah I think so just going to give it a little shake and then we'll have a little nosy oh, what the, oh, come is. so that is the paint he's made up so that is with the contrast medium. Uh, which bone was that? Uh, more gas bone. More gas bone and a contrast red of uh, two brushes. Of two brushes. No, the, the, the name of the contrast paint. Blood angels. Blood angels red. So I'm just that's more turned it into a bit of a wash more than a uh, contrast. Look at these. I don't know. It's it's, it's gone on gone on interesting, in, hasn't mm -hmm. it? It goes on easy. Oh yeah, a lot easier than washes do. But yeah, it's definitely. Uh, it's painting on a lot easier than a wash. Yeah. And here we have that painting his thumb. <laughs> That's quite a nice, a nice flesh colour, isn't it? It is actually, yeah. 
I know, I'm really impressed with that. Like a watered down, like kids left flesh. Hmm. Saying that, there probably would have been an easy way of doing it. <laughs> mm, I don't know. You probably would have got a different colour completely. Hmm. I say, I guess you could say this is a rite of passage for the uh, lion dog. Been able to uh, kill off two models as a reward, it gets painted up. Yeah. Yours got painted up because it was the first casualty of war. Skin is very lion skin as well, thinking about it. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Very lion skin. So this is the Saigor Brown? No, this is the Dark Oath you brought me. Oh, the Dark Oath. Oh, is that Saigor? Yeah, that's Saigor. Saigor. Yeah. Because I was thinking of them um, for our close. Dark Oath to try and get that skin. I thought on you top. brought me Dark Oath to do this, that, what I said was Saigor. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, dark, dark Oath would have been uh, too light. So, Saigor Brown. I think it's going to be too dark, but... Do you want to try it on the uh, palette first? Is this where we find out if I did a good job choosing the colour? Still painting with it, people. Could be on to a winner. Or it could be Matt, he's just painting up the entire model just so we can get to the end of it going, nah, you messed up the model now, Josh. Paint stroke. Yeah. It's all your fault now. I'm not really keen. It's quite shiny. Yeah. Well, so surely it will dry and darken. And less shine, no, no, no. Or grunt a fur would have been too light. Ah, but would it? Two coats would make it darker. I was thinking it's probably the wrong time for brown to be dark. Because whatever you do with contrast, it makes it darker. Yeah. Well, it's too late to grab, grab it now anyway, isn't it? It is. Yep, so if this uh, turns out too bad, 
Matt's going to be blaming me for it. And I'll take full responsibility. I think it's too chocolatey, but I'll say that considering you did actually put that paint on top first. I'm kind of leaning more towards the uh gold grunter maybe. So what you're doing there is obviously you did the one strong line, then brushing side to side to give that nice fur effect, haven't you, with the blending? Oh, yeah. Because normally we see uh, striped animals. Yes, they do have defined stripes. Well, they do have blurred edges on them, don't they? Not quite gone how I wanted. No. Uh, ooh. It's just not the right colour. What's your thoughts? Do you want me to get that um, Saigor brown? Not Saigor. Uh, Gore brown. Yeah. Probably just as well we uh, had heart leave because everything they said did do, do a good job and we've started messing up. <laughs> Alright, there is your. Came off easy. Yeah. So if you ever go wrong, damp tissue. Damp tissue, yeah. It's more or less took it all off. Wow, that has not hasn't it? That's even taken off the uh, <laughs> previous layer up on. Yeah. <sighs> right. Oh yeah, that one's definitely a lot better, though, isn't it? So yeah, apologies, Matt. It's all right. Just 
get it right next time. You know, I wasn't sure to begin with anyway. So. <laughs> ah, so you left the mistake in my hands. Very exactly. clever, touche. <laughs> Oh, you think I'm doing those stripes on them, those lines? Oh, you try and use the brush to wipe off the mm. paint. I suppose this is a good thing to show as well, because this is slightly out of your comfort zone doing this, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. I don't think you've done stripes before, have you? Not only that, but using contrast to do stripes as well. So that noise you can hear is my licking the excess off the brush, brush, drying it back out and uh, using the brush to remove the gore grunt of fur Bizarrely, it doesn't taste so bad. No. I thought it tastes disgusting like normal shoes do. Well, saying that, some paints don't taste too nice. I know the metallic ones don't. Sure. Yeah. Have you got any second hand bits for Dark Vengeance? It was the Blood Angels in that, weren't it? Blood Angels on Dark Vengeance, it was Dark Angels. What did I say? 
Just said bloody angels. I don't know what I meant. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, he's missing the head for that car. And the chapel then. Yeah. A bit lucky. That was a limited edition model. I know. Clearing out the chaos symbol, and I'll take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, I'm quite surprised to see Mark not down here today. He came down on Thursday. Oh, that no, was he? Because he wasn't available today. Uh, that's nice than knowing that he won't be able to make it today, so he came down on a different day. Hang on, what, what wasn't that the day you was away though, Thursday? Oh, right, yeah. Wednesday, then, lovely. Was it Wednesday he came down, lovely, I think? Yeah. What one of the days anyway? Yeah. Oh, that's quite good. I'll be able to split this video up into three parts. Oh yeah. Because of all the pauses and stuff. No, because you've done three different things. Okay. <laughs> and and all the pauses, of course. Yeah. Oh, I might make about 20 videos that were. So what was it you were just doing there with dotting the brush? You're just dotting the brush in the model, aren't you, as you're going down know. on the stripes. Yeah, what was it you were doing there? What I'm doing, if I, because of the contrast paint that I've put on previously is drying. Yep. If I was to put a brush stroke on, I would take all the contrast paint that I've just put on off. And I'd go down to the bare again. Which I found out the other day, if you don't let it dry for the allotted time, mm -hmm. then you uh, end up with a bare model. A bit like when I wiped it over with thingy. Oh, the, the tissue, tissue, isn't it? Yeah. So, I just want to add some dark patches to it. So I suppose that does help with, um, in a sense, giving your model plenty of do over time, in a sense, in some cases, then mine it. If you can still get it off with a tissue about 10 minutes after putting the paint on. She's really manipulating it around. Yeah. That's all you need to do. Make it sounds so easy. Well, you're getting in a lot, lot of videos, though, aren't you? Um, painting ones. You go just uh, to this, that, and the other. Done. I'll be like a dry brushing. Brush, try it off, there you go. And they manage to get the perfect uh, dry brush onto a model. Mm. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll go to do it. you do exactly how they do it. It looks horrible. And you go, ah, oh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you always feel like there's something they're missing out and they're not telling you when it comes to the technique. Which nine times out of ten, it's practice. 
Mm-hmm. Practices really well. Yeah. It's all that. So that's a good tip, tip for everyone. If you're ever going to try a technique that you're not used to doing, don't try it on the model you need him to paint out first. Try it on something else first. That's why it's great owning a shop that you can do de demo models. Oh, those demo models have worked out fabulously for us. like, oh great, I can just try this out. Mm. What the freaking hell is that on the model? <laughs> Some sort of weird piece of something. Uh, are you sure it's not your thumb? <laughs> trying, to blow, <laughs> trying to blow my thumb off. Is this thing holding the model? What the hell is it? No, it's your thumb. Oh, oh right. Who put that there? Mm. I mean, it's helped uh, quite a few customers out as well. What, the thumb? Yeah. Like, what are you doing right, Matt? You're busy, can't talk. Thumbs up. Hey! But, uh, helps with the customers because they can use the demo models as well, can't they? Yep. If they want to try a technique out or just how does this paint work, how does it go on to this. I want to try this paint scheme out. Been able to have a model they can actually try it on rather than uh, ruin the model if it goes wrong. Joys of being down at last fashion. Other than me, of course. Oh, yeah. Still need to get, get the shop shine to sort out. Still have to do a lot to the shop. I know. Put a carpet down or something. I'm just going to paint the floor. I've got floor paint. Oh, yeah, I know. Just getting around to it, isn't it? <laughs> I can barely get the models painted, never, never mind the floor. <laughs> well, the way you spilled out the contrast earlier on, you almost made a start on painting the floor, didn't you? So you just pour all the contrast on the floor? No, because the uh, wood's uh, porous, isn't it? Not only that, though, why don't you put the contrast on there? You'd have to spray um, pur purity all over it. Just to make sure it doesn't chip. <laughs> true. That'd be true. Went to put the uh, pull up that we got in our back garden. I'm mm -hmm. finding it Thursday because it's obviously hot weather and all this lot. Turns out, got a hole in it. Like, ah. I ain't been using that then. So I said to the well, no, don't worry, we'll just, just, just get, get a new one with how hot it's been and all that. Mm -hmm. Rather get it than not, the way it's been. Obviously, uh, turned, turned up on Friday when it was cool. Saturday's been raining. Bear in mind on Thursday, I did say to her, we'll get it and we'll push up on Sunday as long as weather holds out. Mm -hmm. Thinking this heat wave is going to stay a bit longer. Also, uh, she's, she's being bored, bored today. She looks out. So, <sighs> not putting pull out today, are we? Alright, no, you've got no chance of this weather, love. <laughs> it's always the way, though, with some things, though. You'll buy it when the weather's nice. Where'd you get your pull from? Uh, Amazon. How much? You know. Oh, I should let you know. Because it's a big... How big is it? <laughs> well, well, well. Because you don't do a thing by halves. You know, it's funny you should say that, right? The first pool we got, considering we've got that big garden, right? The garden is nine and a half metres at the front. Mm -hmm. At the back of the garden, it shrinks down to about seven and a half. And the length is 26 metres. 
What, the pool? No, the garden. Oh, oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I was giving you the garden dimensions. All right. So, very long garden, obviously. The first garden we got, uh, not the first garden we got, the first pool we got was one of those big ones. It was, I think it's 10 foot, 12 foot diameter. The only inflatable part is the top ring bit. Then as you fill it with water, yeah. it brings up. Not only that, but it has its own fil fil filtration system as well. That you plug in to the mains and it filters. And it's got a pool cover. Brilliant pool. Mm -hmm. Problem with it was not the pool. It was our garden. Because you know the Sorry. problem with garden. It's not level. So as a result, we tried to find the biggest level part of the garden. Mm -hmm. And even then, it wasn't feeling up right because of the angle it was on. Now, uh, didn't help having such a big pool, considering the bigger the area, the harder it is to find a flat area for it. So we've used it a couple, couple, couple of times, a couple of years back. Now it just uh, sits in a uh, box, waiting for the garden to be done. Yeah. Still. Which is going to look amazing when it does get done. Because we'll just get a flat pat, a, a level flat patio, that's at least 12 foot square. And that way we know we can take the garden furniture off and all that one and put the pool in there, it'll be nice and flat. That's the plan, that's the theory, whatever happened or not, we won't know. So, the pool we've got now. Is <clears throat> an Intex Swim Centre family pool with seats. £3,000. Which is 229 centimetres times 66 centimetres. Mm -hmm. Was £35. Costs 28 We got it for 24 oh. So the price has changed again to demand. And it looks like that. That's cool. So. Just a random one for the viewers. That's the pool. Yes, I know it's out of focus. <laughs> so we got that one. That was the one that uh, that we got last year, and we got it again this year, just because it worked out nicely, and we managed to find a flat area enough for it. Front garden. Might as well be at this point. And uh, yeah, so I've not been able to put it up yet. Because we even got a gazebo as well that we could uh, put up. So it's all in the shaded area as well. But that's just in, in the loft waiting, waiting, waiting to come down there. Something sold. Yeah, so hopefully web will turn nice again. Can't see why not. We're not, it's not, we're not even in August yet, are we? God no. Saying that, what are you going to do this um, museum convention? Do you reckon? Yeah, it's on the fourteenth next month. Fourteenth. So much to explore myself. Because it'll be too much to a close shot, won't it? Yeah.
I was just about to say that still looks a bit light on top, doesn't it? Mm. So what you done? What have you just chucked on top there then? It's two two parts contrast to one part goggle. Isn't it? That's helped out quite nicely, now, hasn't it? I do envy you at times. Me? Yeah. This is hell. Oh no, but but the ability to just go, I'll do that and that and just straight on. No he he hesitation. It's always strippable. Yeah. It's not quite how he envisioned it, but it's not a million miles away. No, it's getting there, isn't it? Spent till about two o'clock last night putting models together. <laughs> Joy of hobby. It was actually quite joyful as well. Just carefree put put models together. Thankfully, I have enough pieces for it. I did spend, however, um, over half hour going through a takeout box of Stormcast arms and swords just so I could find three great swords along with the six arms to put it together mm -hmm. then four and eight Eight swords with eight arms on top of that. And where I was a bit silly, I actually took them all off the sprue. All of the arms and all that lot. So it wasn't just one of those, oh, I've got I've still kept kept, kept the instructions. Well, at least I was that kind of smart. So I know I know know which bits, but I completely forgot to keep the bits on the sprue so they're all numbered. So it's just Look at that bit, uh, maybe, I don't know. It just felt like I could jig jigsaw about half hour trying to find, find the pieces. <laughs> Did it in the end, though. Horrible, innit? Yeah. No, just get it all fit. The thing I love about the contrast is if you go wrong, just get a bit of water on your brush and wipe it off. Wipe it off. <laughs> Pretty much, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, wax on, wax off. I've enjoyed using them on the uh, circus spares. That's been quite fun. Mm, but it has. Yeah. Definitely enjoyed using on the Wild West Exa stuff. They're just nice and using entirely different way of painting your models. Mm hmm. It got a bit boring, didn't it? Yeah. I actually want to do more painting now. That the contrast paints come in. Yeah. Makes you wonder if they will end up releasing the, 
more color, color variations. I mean, surprised enough at the moment, you're still not tapped into the full power of them with different bases and contrasts on top, see what effects it takes and how it changes the paint. One side's way better than the other. I don't know why. I know why. Why? Because it's the right side. Oh yeah, it is the right side as well. <laughs> hey! I think that is the hardest thing to do with some models as well. Symmetrical. Symmetrical. Make it look the same on both sides. Uh -huh. So you're looking at that main. You would have to base it, dry brush it, mm -hmm. and shade it. Maybe an extra colour on top of that, though, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. If I mess around with that too much, it's just gonna very wrong, so I'll just put another layer over the main. Oh, the uh, body fur. Mm -hmm. I was quite liking that lightness to it. He's coming on quite nice though, isn't he? He is, bless him. Yeah. Bit of an hour though. Really, with this one? I think so. 3.20... yeah? Without that? I think a lot of it is just the faff faffing around with lines. Yeah. And that fur. Trust them to uh, give you a model that's got stripes down it. I suppose you didn't have to put the stripes on. Yeah. But I suppose we've fallen into that um, pitfall of making it look like what it's on the card. Especially how you've done the iron golems as well. Kind of made it look similar, haven't you? And put the, per the person who painted it originally was a bloody good painter. Oh yeah. So. I've got no hope in matching what they did. My only hope is try is try, is try and get in here. Oh, so yeah, that's the uh, idea of it anyway, isn't it? Get something looking close to what someone else has done. Make it tabletop standard. I'll tell you, I'll tell you tables tabletop standard because if we go for last bastion standard it is quite plastic. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we have no standards. If I'm lucky enough when it comes to my game though it'll be uh, lead belcher basic. <laughs> That's the one in the back they can paint it themselves. Is it? They're busy people doing these for our loving fans. Ooh, um, when it comes to conventions, this will be a good one to take now, wouldn't it? What, a video? <laughs> take them a video. Today, kids, we're going to demo this video to you. Sit down and watch. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> it's a very it's some popcorn. good game. Yeah. It's on the price tag. Yeah. For conventions, isn't really suitable, but the game itself, when you've got the war bands, well, that's it. That's, it's uh, your basic models, isn't it? 
but it's good. Mm. Sorry, I keep moving the model, don't no, I? No, it's alright, I'm used to it, I've been doing it all night. I just apologise for the uh, viewers, because hopefully it doesn't get into motion sickening, but I doubt it. Plus, you're not used to actually having yourself filmed whilst painting. No. I'm used to doing what I want when I, when I want. Yeah. <laughs> I can't put any more paint on yet because it's still tacky, it'll just come straight off with paint. But for all intents and purposes, I think that's that's close enough. Shall I put any more paint on it? I'll put it before. <laughs> oh, I just darken up his face, are you? Yeah. Well, I got the basilicum on there. Oh, that grey. It's a bit brown, isn't it? So we'll let him, I mean in all fairness, is this tabletop ready? Yeah, well, tabletop ready is three colours. And with this video, obviously he's had more than three colours. I mean, he doesn't need to be perfect. No. Um, I've got the stripes on, not amazingly. But considering I did it all with the contrast paints without having to just elbow the camera yeah. without having to actually put a lot of effort into it it's pretty cool yeah did you go over the chaos symbol no and the chaos symbol will need a little bit of contrast with race bone watered down dropped into it again and then re-redded so that'll be something I have to do later when it's dry. Mm. Uh, so yeah, metal note. Don't do, don't don't do the chaos symbol first. No. No. Suppose you did, but saying that, I, I want to see what it looked like. You could even go over it with a layer paint or a base paint, but you want to do a contrast, don't you? Yeah, the contrast will drop all drop in nicely and just yeah, fill the it'll just, it'll be a lot easier to fill it in, won't it? And, and yeah, all the paint won't go into and the if you And if you're um, doing some layer paints over these, then you can neat, neat, neaten up the uh, stripes stripes with layer paint. You can hi highlight the mane, highlight the horns, skin. So skin. there's a lot you can do if sorts. you end up going for the layer well, and base option. But if you're wanting just to play with models, there's no need. No. Uh, Curse Dwarf Guy. Uh, what did I say you needed doing with him? Ah. You was going to do the apothecary right. I was, wasn't I? Yes. I was going to apo white him again. So, for those that are uh, watching the video on YouTube for this. Which, in all fairness, doesn't need doing. You'll uh, see this in the previous video. Um, with Matt Payne up the Chaos Dwarf guy. That's, uh, he doesn't need doing. No, he, you're quite happy with what It looks all right. Mm. Well, let's just put some more on. And then people can see apple white going on. It's got a nice draft when I shook that paint pot though. Very warm in here. There's the pressure, pressure isn't having to paint under, under the watchful gaze of uh, no viewers. <laughs> of, of no viewers. Mm. But, at the end of the day... But they're going to view it on YouTube, so... Yeah. And they can really watch it on Twitch as well. We've chosen Sunday nights. Obviously, people work on Monday mornings. So, we know up to a certain point, we will, we will lose a lot of viewers. We've chosen a time frame... That suits us. Yeah. That suits us, not the viewers. Sorry to say, you yeah. know? Well, suits my wife. Yeah, fair enough. But it's one of those, you, the majority of stuff we do get done is before 11. And of course it's recorded, so yeah, people can so watch it afterwards. I've got a lot of viewers who watch it on a Monday on YouTube. When you put it up on Mondays. I was waiting for that. 
Yeah. I know Dave. Dave likes to watch it at work. Yeah, it's either Mondays or Tuesday I end up watching it. I hope Dave's boss isn't watching this. I doubt it. Does his, pa his paperwork with it in the background? Yeah. Right, I'll leave that to dry. That's him touched up. And uh, it's quarter to one in the morning. So, on a Sunday? On a Sunday night, Monday morning. I think we'll call it there. We'll take some photos of these when I put a nice texture base paint on it. Uh, well, you saying that, I will be taking a photo of the Chaos Dwarf in a minute. You can do all of them. Yeah, because it was waiting until they dry. Take a photo, show what they look like. Yeah. So I'll do that once this video ends. Sorry, guys. And, uh, but yeah, that is our stand. But of course, if you want to see them, the, the photo, then you can go to our Facebook page. It'll be on the Facebook page uh, in about half hour. It'll also be on the videos. So either in the videos or look at Last Bastion's Facebook page. I'm trying to use this mouse and it's not attached. That's not good. So thank you for watching. Like us, subscribe us, and send us lots of money. Millions yeah. and millions of pounds. The usual malarkey. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, ask us silly questions like what colour Now, what face? we will do though is what we're going to do next week. What are we going to do next week? That's a good question. Mm. Because next week is the actual release yeah. for... Should we show them how to do the initiative phase and heroic abilities? Play a full game? Full game. And watch you crush me. More likely, yeah. So, next week... And probably not have any more model models painted. We'll have a <laughs> full game of Warcry. With a full warband. We have hopeful painted models. Yeah. We've not seen them at least be painted. At least. <laughs> on the time get. <laughs> so, thank you once again for tuning in, guys. Matt's unusual, like, subscribe. See you soon. Now that's the mouse again, I've done it. <laughs> mm. <Not> again. <laughs>